Oh, there we go. I set it in motion. <laughs> Your clap started it all. It's true. Oh, oh. Whoa. That's loud. Two crystals. Okay. Hello, everyone, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hi. It's time for Square Enix. Jesus. Welcome to the Square Enix E3 show. Enix. Enix. Excuse me. Square Enix. Square Enix. Not Enix. Hello. No problem. Until the very end. So we're gonna have a, like one more thing. Let's go. Let's go. There is a moment in everyone's life. That's oh, true, brother. I. We must make a choice. At least I'm, I. I think it is. What is it? Tomb Raider. Oh. Or fight. Probably, yeah. To become who we're meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. We've seen this game once before, right? I think so. Yeah. Quite extensively, though. That's true, yeah. But this is probably gonna be a uh, gameplay. I'm expecting. Or at least a different trailer than the ones we've already seen. It's different. Yeah. That's for sure. Hey, Montreal. Hey. There's a lot of game developers in Canada. Yeah, it's true. Probably some tax breaks there or something. Something like that. No, I actually think that, like, Canada um, gives money or at least, like, supports art yeah, they do. in that way. They do, they do. Like they give them tax breaks so they can make uh, stuff there. So that's probably why a lot of uh, studios are located there. Oh no! How are you gonna? Why are you worried about him? <laughs> How are you gonna survive this? He has the wings. You're just a cockpit. And yeah, buckle the fuck up. You know, people still die when they wear their seatbelts, right? Yeah, it's it's probably not gonna Hi, save you. My name is Daniel Shaibson, game director at Eros Montreal. You've just seen e Edos? I thought it was Eidos. Hmm. Okay. All these E's are just pronounced differently there, apparently. Enix instead of Enix. Edos instead of Eidos. Edos? 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 It's French. We call this becoming one with the jungle. Let's take okay. a look what this means for gameplay. Yeah, what yeah. does that mean yeah. for gameplay? Let's see some game. She, she, she's just a tree. Yeah. The one with the jungle. This is like uh, <laughs> fucking Black Panther. Just jumps down. What? Huh? You see from Black Panther? No, no, look. Like, like, oh. What happened? Well, she shot an arrow, and they were like, where'd that come from? So they're all scared. Oh, it's a poison arrow, probably. Huh. Nope. Hmm. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like stealth gameplay. Yeah, normally when the like, good old bottle. <laughs> why was that there? Where did this bottle come from? But normally when like it's stealthy like this, there's a lot more like indicators for where the guys are, but there aren't any here. Yeah, so that, that's, that's actually cool. kind of interesting. Also makes it more difficult. Okay. Which is nice. You have to actually think about what you're doing and not just like somebody looking. No, okay. And he's dead. He 
Get more light in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, less light. <clears throat> That's her walk. Yeah, she's creeping. She's a creeper. Three guys. Hey, you know Maltese's access code? O one O three five three Mike. Hey, heading over there now. <laughs> that was weird. Do some backup here. <sighs> what? You really wouldn't notice? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. It's weird. Body here. <laughs> that took him a second. Body here it looks recent. Not just the guy I was just talking to. He was dead. Mike! Oh god! Yeah. You, take point. Lead the way. Yeah, it always feels kinda. <laughs> Whose footprints are these? Why didn't he shoot? Because he was scared. He's like, oh god, is that a lion? And then. I'm gonna go the jungle. How many guys are here? A lot. Oh, Jesus. You really wouldn't notice? No. Like, I'm trying to think here. Well, it's very dark. Well, a lot, also, a lot of people don't actually, like, look up a lot. They did, like, a study. Like, if you put something above a person at a 45 degree angle, they probably won't even see it. Mm. We hope that you like what you've just seen. So look much cool. Depth. Yeah, it, this was nice. It's just, here's some gameplay. Yeah. Like, an actual gameplay segment. And here's some concept art. Running. We even have a full 360 degree underwater swimming, which means full underwater exploration and survival. Okay, then. We have also one of the biggest hub ever created in any Tomb Raider game featuring a hidden city. And of course, we have tombs. We have more of that. Obviously. Deadlier than ever before. But for now, we're going to leave you with a video that will give you a taste of what to expect out of Shadow of the Tomb Raider and how Lara Croft becomes the Tomb Raider that she's destined to be. Because it took three games to get there. Hmm. Oh, hello. Fucking terrifying. <clears throat> it does. You have been christened the Tomb Raider. No Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh oh. We stand together. The fuck is this? A MOBA. Oh. Oh. I mean, <clears throat> you say it's a mobile game, but it probably is. I said MOBA. Oh, MOBA. Oh. Well, there you go. You're right. I am. Yeah. It's a MOBA? No, not a MOBA. Fuck, I, it's an uh, MMO. It's just Final Fantasy Online. Okay. Which I heard is good, but I don't care. So, yeah. Hmm. Sure is flashy. It is. Without our knowledge and expertise, our new friends will be hard pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. Actually, for an MMO, it actually looks like really polished. <laughs> yeah, oh. a lot of detail in it. But then again, I'm comparing it to like World of Warcraft <laughs> and uh, Elder Scrolls. The fuck is going on? Yay patches. Oh, 
That was the fucking weird. Oh, I was like, wait, this is Monster Hunter, but that's Capcom? Oh, but they're crossing over. Okay. That's interesting. So it's just gonna be Final Fantasy costumes in Monster Hunter. Okay. Hmm. I love that cross. It's the ultimate crossover signal. Uh huh. Alright. Uh -huh. Some good shit. No switch. Whee! Well, switch is getting an exclusive. Exclusive. I don't know if they're gonna show it, but exclusive. Oh, this is um, that other thing from. Uh... Yeah, with the boy. Yeah. Boy. Boy. Captain Spirit, was it? I think. I think so. Which was free. Uh, the yeah, first it's, episode. Uh, it's episodic. The first episode is free. free. Never actually played like a Life is Strange, mm. but I never really played the like Telltale esque. Hi everyone, my name is Michel. I did. And it's pretty fun. But... Yeah. We are the two creative directors of Life is Strange at Dontman Entertainment. As you may know, we have just revealed the awesome adventures. I always feel like the dialogue be between the like the kids is not very realistic. Yeah, it's always like it's like it's written by a writer. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, you can really tell. Yeah. For introducing the players to the many stories we want to tell in this expanded universe. Uh oh. Captain Spirit is not Life is Strange too, but it will be your first steps into this world. The game is hiding many secrets and even some links to You're the gonna have a Life is Strange cinematic universe. <laughs> so make sure you take all your time to explore. We cannot wait for you to experience Chris's story. We hope it's gonna be sad. Um, have a great history and from all the Life is Strange team and don't nod, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye, guys. See you. Oh, just just a cool screw that. Just turn the boys off. <laughs> yeah, it looks interesting. I still don't know what is actually going on. <laughs> The fuck are we doing? It's nice though to have. Like, oh, a, Dragon Quest, right? To have a video. I forgot. Where nobody like screws up their sentences. Yeah, it's just very streamlined. Yeah. So the how many? Of Isn't this Quest the game that's like really, really popular in Japan? Yeah. Like really, really, yeah, like really, 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 really popular. That's funny. It's hilarious. Why is it funny? Oh, it just looks weird. <laughs> it's funny that like this is like this is very big over there. Well, it's one of the first RPGs ever made. Yeah. Like Dragon Quest, the original. So I guess it just kind of kept going. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. I mean, Star Wars is like the most popular thing here. Kind I know, of. I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying it's interesting that we just don't really yeah. know anything about it. Well, you don't know anything about it. You don't know the ins and outs. Okay, if you say so. But this is like for, like the PS4, and all the previous ones have always been for like 3DS. Hmm. So that's probably a big thing. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
No, not the Infinity Stones. <laughs> the Dragon Balls. The Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> and Song Hats. <laughs> and all that stuff, yeah. It's only the same. Yeah. A Rainbow Road. Or the Bifrost. Charizard. Everything, everything's a remix. Dragon Quest Eleven. Okay. That's where we're at. Echoes of an elusive age. Bones, luminary, we swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yep. We're all in this together. Show us what you've got. Let's do this. Lead on, darling. Huh? Is it still? It's gone. Oh, that's just the promo art, probably. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Probably won't play it, but <laughs> you will. Maybe, maybe someday. What's going on? What are we doing? More Dragon Quest. What? Oh, there's like a Another mobile crossover. game. These crossovers. Yeah. Hmm. What are we doing now? We're looking forward to that Marvel thing you mentioned that might... Well, yeah, if they show it. It might pop up. I don't know what's going on. What am I looking at? Fire Emblem. No. I <laughs> know it's not. It's the wrong developer. I know, but... Okay. Kind of looked like the overall map from the DS games. It does kind of, yeah. Hmm. I still can't place this. Yeah, me it's, it's probably just another Final Fantasy spin-off thing, but... Here's the entire history of everything. Uh... Oh jeez. Fucking hell. Scary Holy mask, dude. shit. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting tentacles. Oh jeez. Wow. I was hell. rooting for him, but he's dead. Babylon's full. Oh, Babylon. That's something that's not being covered that, yeah, a whole lot. And I, I uh, always found it very interesting. Oh, platinum. Like, okay. like the like huh. those those hanging gardens. Mm -hmm. It's like super it's cool. It's made by platinum, so that's hmm. cool. Yeah, interesting. Also means it's gonna be like an action game, probably. And oh, we didn't a, know this, right? An RPG. No, I didn't. I mean, I didn't know what it was. So. Oh, PS4 and Steam. Steam. Not the Xbox. Is this near? A masterpiece. This is this just the Xbox cool. version of near again? Or are they also really okay? Just go yeah. to Xbox. Okay. Yeah. Man, we already know this. That's fine. Oh yeah, I can show it. You gotta show it again. But I'm wondering if, like, because it's like an ultimate edition, it would also coming to like PS4 and PC. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Just Xbox, apparently, huh? I. Wheresoever you wander, and whoever you meet. Why is everything this style? <laughs> because they have one artist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you know, it's, in, it's, it's, it's like. <laughs> is this Octopath? Can I get Octopath? Yeah, okay, it's Octopath. Is that the Switch exclusive? Yeah. That's insane. Is it? I mean, it's, it's not insane. Well, a lot of people are excited, right? So that's just when is this releasing? I want to play this, probably. Uh, I think it's July, actually. Mm. That looks so fucking good! I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. I need it now. Yeah, July 13th. Okay. That's pretty soon. These developers, I really underrated uh, how much they actually Yeah, play. how much they actually make, yeah. yeah. It's like, Jesus. 
They're, they're involved in a lot of stuff. Oh, this is Just Cause 4. Okay. Bruh. Well, I mean, it's like... It's been until, like, recently that they've been buying, like, studios, you know? Yeah. And so they're just, they just came together. Like, IDOS always made, like, the Tomb Raider games, and they just bought it yeah. so they could, like... Don't know exactly who made Just Cause, but, like, they yeah. also bought them. has arrived in the fictional South American country of Solis, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Yeah, again, like, I don't really care about Just Cause. I always think the grappling hook is funny, and you can, like, attach stuff to other stuff, but, like, that's about it. At first glance, Solis is a beautiful location. But scratch the surface, and you will uncover oppression, fear, and violence, all enforced by Gabriella, the leader of the private militia organization, the Black Hand. Hmm. Just Cause 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the introduction of extreme weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and Whoa. level bridges to sticks. That's also pretty cool though. Unpredictable and right. oh, just the extreme weather and yeah, can just fucking wreck everything. Witness the spectacular destruction. They offer both a challenge to Rico. I'm wondering if like you're just doing a mission and then a tornado just swoops by and it's like objective clear. <laughs> Probably not. Well that'd be funny though. Would be. New additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on He didn't even use the ball, he just used the the crane. <laughs> what the fuck? Rico's grapple is now fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers <laughs> while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. Right. The grapple now has more tethers than ever before and the ability to deploy booster rockets in the all new air oh, lifters, making that's the grapple fun. an incredibly powerful and creative tool. Huh. Cool. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our freeform, go anywhere, do anything. Game. That good just cause war. So famous, I know nothing about. Yeah, I. Never been high. <laughs> uh, oh god, camera, why? Why are you like this? Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Okay. Each archetype comes with unique AI designed to keep the player on their toes. Yeah, what Lulai like played, I always felt like the AI was always, like, very simple. Yeah. Like, they just see you and shoot you, and that's about it. They don't, like, Come, take try to flank or, you or yeah. something. Like. Yeah, good AI is something a lot of companies are developing right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's something uh, it's Rock, hard, Rockstar was is doing with Red Dead. Mm -hmm. We won't see Red Dead at PlayStation, right? Probably not. Rockstar doesn't do it Normally most of the time. Normally not. I'd love to see it. But they have shown some stuff at E3. So okay. maybe... And also PlayStation has like exclusive stuff for Red Dead 2. Yeah. So maybe they'll uh, maybe. show something. Who knows though. Hype for that. What am Marvel? I looking at now? I'm seeing US buildings I think. Yeah. This will see a glass bird. What the fuck am I looking at? Stormtrooper. <laughs> so it's Marvel? Is this a Marvel thing? Like it's New York. It sounds like. The fuck am I looking at? It's a movie? <laughs> hmm. Yo! Wrong address, dog! Yo, bro! No <laughs> the fuck is that? I, I don't know what I'm looking at! A movie? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> the fuck? It is a movie. I, it's like, well, it's live action, but like, I don't know what I'm seeing. Now it's a game, right? I, I, you tell me. Well, now it's a game. Silence. What the hell? Silence ring. Loudest. The quiet. What the what the fuck? Like an entirely. What the fuck? 
With like live action cutscenes. That's so weird. Okay. More, more in to August. come in August. I, I PS4 exclusive again. And Steam. For every night, there Kingdom Hearts. Dude, that's a lot of games. <laughs> it's what, pretty good though. What were you expecting? It's fast paced, no talking. Yeah. I mean, if you talk, talk like say yeah. some say something. Yeah, say a thing. Not don't just, just talk. Don't just make the noise. Yeah. Actually, say. Don't do something. don't do what we're doing. Just speaking for speaking's sake. Yeah. Uh, it's the same fucking trailer. God damn it! I've already seen this. I actually wanted some more gameplay, but all right. Might come after the trailer. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello, Olaf. Are these your friends? Hmm? No, never met him. They like. I saw a screenshot so where they put the tangled from this game and the actual movie next to each other. Yeah. And in some ways, the game it's looks amazing. better than the movie. You can control mm. In what way? In the face. Like the face is more de Like the clothing and the hair isn't as detailed, but the face is more detailed. Which I thought was interesting. But Tangled is already a, an older Disney yeah. 3D movie, so... I don't know how it compares to like Frozen. Rats are This is new, right? Yeah, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, we have I, seen this. I love that Ralph is a summon. <laughs> it's fucking great. Yeah, there's some new stuff, but some old stuff as well. Is it? No, this was in there last time. Still, Sora. Yeah, like the the mood shift. What the fuck? They're just showing some new stuff and some old stuff. That works out for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't think twice. Don't do it. If you think twice, why even doing that? It's the same thing again, where there's the no audio. foley. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh, it's fucking. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really gross. <laughs> it's I, really I gross. I don't like it. Who made this? Square Enix. <laughs> Wait. Why? Re this reply is different. Yeah, exactly. Like they just put. Oh, they didn't want to show the same trailer again. No, but so what? They were just like they made two cuts of the trailer. Yeah, probably. His full data in the construction. What the fuck? This keyblade. Is that Mickey? You're too late. Who's that? That's Aqua. She's stuck in the realm of darkness, and now she is darkness. <laughs> you know what, Street? I. Okay. No Nintendo Switch again. Well, I mean, can't obviously, handle it. can't handle it. No, well, why would they? Like, it's gonna sell regardless. Oh, that was it apparently. But he said till the very end. So yeah, so they're I showing. Feel like Mar there is like one show more. Marvel, I think. That thing was like the biggest surprise of everything here. What? The Quiet Man. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. And uh, there was some other new stuff. Yeah, and some random Kingdom Hearts lore that they were like... Oh, also this. This is different from that last trailer. Thanks Square. for joining the Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018. No, I think that was it. I don't think there's a one more thing. No, that was it. <laughs> All right. That was exactly okay, that half was an it. hour. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, that's refreshing. Yeah, to have it a, be like yeah, just a real quick one. Yeah. Just a tiny. There's a lot of stuff though. Yeah, that's true. They did show a lot of cool um, stuff, but also a lot of stuff that we've already seen though. So.
Yeah. But new stuff for things we've already seen, but that yeah. does make it um, slightly less interesting. Why don't I read this? Let's see. I guess. It's so weird that he, at the beginning you said, like, till the very end. Yeah. And then they ended with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. And then kind of just nothing. Yeah. Huh. So no Marvel? No, well, they did say that they were going to make more announcements, like... Yeah, sure. ...during all but... E3, but not the this presentation, so... Yeah, that Marvel game. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Hmm. Why don't you um, rate this? I mean, it's very different, of yeah. course, from the other ones. I think I'd give this, like, a 7. I would give this a 7, because I do like a lot of the games they show there. Uh, but yeah. they also didn't really... It didn't blow me away. Like a 6.5 again. Same as Bethesda. It's just Bethesda fucked up in the beginning. Yeah, that's, that's true. Me. So I've got, like, an 8.5 for Microsoft, because I really like that show. Just mm-hmm. as a whole felt good. Yeah. And I'm like a three for EA. <laughs> well, yeah. no, I'm not. It's like a f- I'm. I'm no, just. I'm, I'm sticking to my three. I'm sticking to. Readjusting that to like, 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 a, like, like a five. No. Again, Mm-mm. because um, it wasn't that bad. It just wasn't very. Yeah. Intimate. It wasn't. It wasn't like horrible. It was just not very noteworthy. Yeah. So, but doesn't mean you deserve yeah. a three. A three, you deserve you, you 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 get a three if you do like like a like something like 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 a dick move or something. Uh, you, it's a three if it's Bethesda without Todd Howard, then it's a three. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, next up is Ubisoft. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys for that. Oh, see ya. Okay.